In part one of this lesson, we learnt about the templates which make up a WooCommerce store. Now we'll explore how to create our archive and search templates. Our store will use two product archive templates. The first will be displayed when somebody visits our shop page, which will show the various categories which we set up earlier on. Upon selecting one of these categories, our website visitors will then be taken to our second archive template, which will display the products themselves in a grid layout. Let's head back to the theme builder now and add a new product archive template. The first thing we'll do is add in this header section which we previously saved as a template. It contains our page title, a short description and will provide consistency across all of our template files. Now add in a new section and give it some padding. In the widgets panel, find and drop in the products category widget. This widget will automatically display any categories which we've set up on our store. Several default configurations have already been applied. Let's make some changes so that this shows exactly how we'd like it to. Set both the columns and category counts to 3. Now switch to the Query tab. By default this widget is set to show all categories, but you can amend this to show a manual selection, by parent, or current subcategory. We'll choose Manual and then select the categories that we would like to display on our shop page. Note how each category has its own image. This is because we set them earlier on when creating our categories. If any categories are empty, we can choose to hide them here. And finally, we can amend the order by name, slug, description, or count, and also to be descending or ascending. Now switch over to the Style tab. You can first of all amend the column and row gaps, and then the alignment. Add a border type, width, color, radius, and spacing if required and then style the colour and typography for both the title and count. Before we publish this template, let's rename it just like we did with our single product template. Let's now publish our template and set the display conditions. Now in the drop down, select shop page to ensure that this template is shown every time somebody visits the main shop page on our website. Finally, select save and close and let's now visit the website to ensure that this is working correctly. Let's now create the template which is shown when somebody selects one of the categories on our shop page. Just like before, we're going to add a previously made section into this template file. However, this one is using dynamic content so that it always shows the correct title and description. Select the title and you can see that we've selected product terms in the dynamic field and product category. Similar to the title, we've set this to dynamically pull in the archive description. All of these values were set earlier on when we created our categories. Now add in a new section, apply some padding, and then drop in the products widget. First set your columns and rows, and whether you would like to display pagination. Enabling pagination opens up some additional options. Allow order will add a drop down field, and show result count adds the number of results to the widget. Switching to the query tab now, we are able to specify what content is shown in this widget. Because we're going to use this template to display products of a certain category, we are going to need to select current query to obtain the desired results. Switch to the Style tab now and let's explore what options we have. First, we can set our styles for the products themselves, set your gap distances, and alignment. Now add a border if required, and spacing. Now scroll down and set your styles and spacing for the title, price, and regular price. Now let's apply our normal and hover styles so that our add to cart button matches the rest of our website. And finally, the view cart styles. 
Now open the Box tab. The default settings work great for us, but if you need to, you can add a border, border radius, padding, as well as shadow, background colors, and border colors for both the normal and hover states. Finally, we can set the styles for our sales flash. Before we rename and publish this template, let's add in the testimonial block template that we've previously created to fill the page out. Now rename the template, select Publish, add Condition, select Product Categories, and leave it on All to ensure that this layout appears on all of the product categories. OK, great. Let's now visit the website and test all of the templates that we've made so far. We'll start on the home page and select Shop. Now select one of the categories. Finally, choose one of the products. As you can see, all of the templates are working great on the live website. Let's move on to our final template, which is for the search results. First, add a new search template in the theme builder. Again, we have a pre made hero section to add here, so let's drop this in. The title is set to use dynamic content and will automatically display the search term entered by the user. To add your own search term, select the gear icon. Preview Settings, enter your search term and click Apply and Preview. Now add a new section, then add some padding. Drop in the Archive Posts widget and instantly we can see the search results appear. Now let's make some adjustments so that it appears exactly how we'd like it to. You can also amend the pagination configuration and nothing found message if required. Now let's style the search results. Set your column and row gap distance, and then your alignment. Add a border radius if required, and spacing. You can also apply a CSS filter to both the normal and hover states. Under content, we'll set our colors, typography, and spacing for the title and excerpt. And finally, apply your styles for the pagination and nothing found message. This concludes the content and styling options. Now let's rename our template and publish. Select search results from the drop down and save. And there we have it. When somebody performs a search on our website, they will be directed to the search template, which looks great. Using Elementor's Theme Builder makes it easy to create and manage the template files associated with your website. Make the most of this amazing feature and wow your website visitors with entirely branded content to keep them engaged on your website. In our next lesson, we'll take a look at the pages associated with running a WooCommerce store.